Let's talk about the Oklahoma Sooners. The Sooners came into this offseason with a lot of needs, and I think they filled a good amount of them. But one need they didn't necessarily have too big of was the wide receiver position. But they ended up getting Deion Burks anyways, and it turns out that this was a huge move for the Sooners. He's looking really good in spring ball so far. Let's get into the article, and we can talk more about this effect on the other side. This is from over on Sooners Wire. Heading into the offseason, the Oklahoma Sooners weren't really in the market to find a wide receiver in the transfer portal. They had plenty of depth returning despite the loss of Drake Stoops and had a nice group of signees in the early signing period. But they weren't past adding a player if it made sense. That's exactly what happened when Deion Burks entered his name into the portal. Oklahoma won, won out in his recruitment and he's been turning heads since arriving in Norman. Some even believe he could be the next star receiver for the Sooners. This is a quote from Jesse Simpton of On3. Dion Burks looks like a future star in the SEC. The talk of the Sooners' spring practice followed up a month's worth of buzz with a monster red and white game finishing with nearly 200 yards and two touchdowns. This guy going crazy in spring, Nick. I'm curious what your thoughts are on this one. But Sooners fans, in the comment section below... Let us know what has been your favorite transfer portal pickup for the Sooners thus far this season. It seems like there's a lot of great ones. Burks being one of the ones that really has been crazy good. But let us know who your favorite is in the comment section below. But Nick, what do you think about Burks in Oklahoma? So I think that the, what Burks brings, obviously, to Oklahoma's offense is critically important. I think the larger theme here is as Oklahoma transfers to the SEC. And look, I've talked about it a lot. I've seen a lot of Sooners fans comment you know, talk about oh, SEC this, SEC that, and I get it. You guys are tired of hearing about the SEC and the competitive nature of it in the speed and the depth, and it's understandable. But the reality is it's a gauntlet of a schedule. People talk about the talent level in the SEC, which is incredibly high. To me, what makes the SEC so brutal is just the quality of opponent you see week after week after week. It's either a top 10 team, a top 15 team, and if it's not a top 15 team, it's LSU having a down year, and they still have 15 NFL guys on the roster. Right, And having a guy like Burks, who just by his athleticism, his playmaking ability on your team, allows you to create those instant offense, big play kind of situations, especially with the young quarterback in Jackson Arnold, that you're going to need when you get through that gauntlet. Because the reality is, no matter how good of a game plan you have, I think the Sooners coaches are a really strong staff. I think they're going to do a great job preparing those guys. But through that gauntlet, your players are going to run into situations where they're not going to be able to execute the game plan. It's just not going to work out because the other team is really good, really talented, really deep as well. You need a guy who can just create offense by himself and just create big plays just by the sheer his sheer talent and athleticism. And I think that's what Burks can bring to the table. So doing impressive things in spring ball, I think, I think is a great sign for Burks. I think there needs to be a lot of trust built between Burks and the quarterback, Stanley Jackson Arnold, and Burks and the coaching staff because there are going to be times, again, through this gauntlet of an SEC schedule that they're going to have to find a way to just create offense. And I think Burks is a perfect guy to help him do just that. Yeah, Nick, and this guy, he just seems like a great Oklahoma player coming out of high school. He was projected as a guy, you know, come in. He's not necessarily the biggest guy at 5'9", 189, but he was very strong player, a good blocker, which you're going to like that at Oklahoma. A guy who can come up and make hits on the defense. That is something to love in a wide receiver. But he had the intangibles of a clutch player. When the light shined the brightest, this was the guy who came down with the ball. We hear about it in spring practice. 200 yards and two touchdowns. I'm sure there's a bunch of clutch moments mixed in there as well. But this just seems like a guy who when you need a big play, he seems like he's going to be open. He will be available for Arnold to get the ball down the field to him and make that play. So you love a guy like that. Just someone who has that innate ability to be open at the right time. It sounds like that Burks is that guy, and I'm really glad, you know, Oklahoma not looking for a wide receiver, but Coach Venables, he's smart enough to know, hey, if the opportunity presents itself, I don't care what our depth looks like at a position, we're going to go ahead and get the best player available in the transfer portal to make us a more complete unit. 
And, you know, you talk about being a complete unit. I look at the best team in the SEC, and I think in my mind that's clearly the Georgia Bulldogs. And the Georgia Bulldogs the past couple seasons, their offense, very ground and pound, very physical, but their passing game was revolved around playmakers, guys who could do a lot of different things, create that instant offense. Brock Bowers, Lad McConkey, who are now drafted into the National Football League. Deion Burks is from that same mold of playmaker. He's not a traditional, hey, cookie-cutter you know, X wide receiver, cookie cutter slot wide receiver. He can do a lot of different things, go in motion, line up in some funky formations. Again, it's about creating instant offense. That's what Georgia has done with a lot of success. And I think that's what Oklahoma is going to be able to do with Deion Burks.